People ask me all the time, where do you go to eat? What is your favorite food? What's the most awesome thing you ever had? And that's why we're here now. Not only to tell you what we love to eat, but where you can go find it. I mean, like the 411. My definition of a grill is a grated surface with fire shooting up. When I think about the grill, the thing that jumps into my mind first, oysters, oysters, oysters. I'm talking about the grilled oysters from Drago's in Metairie, Louisiana. They will mess your world up. Traditionally, an oyster is best enjoyed raw, and you kind of eat them, you're like, mm -mm, I just, I enjoy that oyster. And it's like, do you even know that you ate one? In New Orleans, they do crazy things with oysters. And one crazy thing they do is grill them. See that smoke? You know they're grilling oysters right now. And the really cool thing about Dragos is they grill so many oysters, they don't go through a distributor. They go to the fishermen. Oyster bed, to boat, to Dragos, to grill, to mouth. They take the oysters, they shock them. We put them right on the grill. And then they're ladled with a garlic butter mixture. And we use plenty of it. And then we take a fresh Parmesan and Romano cheese with a little bit of parsley. So there's smoky, garlicky, cheesy, creamy, and just beautiful. Thank you. When these things show up, I, I mean, that tear comes to the eye every time. Pretty much you order the next dozen as soon as that dozen hits the table. Should I order the next now, or should I finish this one first? Like. Yes, we'll take another dozen grilled oysters. Always oh, so sad to see the last oyster. It's a very simple cycle that keeps on perpetuating itself. Yes. They have a full menu at Drago's. I would love to have a dozen oysters and something else, but I would really love to have three dozen oysters. You have to get these oysters. It'll open up the floodgates of oyster love.